I look like I'm naked. Hello. <laughs> Hello, my amazing, beautiful, wonderful, fantastic friends. Welcome back to my channel. So you guys are able to read the title. I'm going to be filming a simple, chill, what I eat in a day because for some reason that I will never understand, you guys seem to really enjoy these videos. So I'm a people pleaser and I will give y'all what you want. That is what I'm going to be doing for this video. I haven't mentioned this in a previous video before. I have talked about it in my pinned comments, but this video as well as my past two videos, um, all of the AdSense money that I make from those videos will be donated to the causes that are going to be helping Yemen. I linked all the causes I'm going to be donating to in the pinned comment, I believe, in the past two videos. And then the few videos before that, the AdSense money will be going to the Black Lives Matter movement, to all the causes I have linked in the description box of those videos. I just wanted to mention that really quickly because I know not everyone is able to donate, which is completely understandable and totally okay. You don't have to feel guilty if you aren't able to donate. So all you need to do is watch through those ads on those videos as well as this video and all the money that I make from these videos will be donated to the causes that I have spoken about. And if you know any other places I can donate to, any places that might be better to donate to, and when I say better, I just mean, for example, like a lot of the Black Lives Matter movement places that I can donate to, a lot of them don't need any more donations because they were overwhelmed with donations already. Hence why in those videos, I'm going to be mainly focusing on donating to GoFundMe links for victims that haven't reached their goal yet. So the same goes for this. If you see all the links that I put down below and you know of another place that I could donate to, please let me know. In the comments below but it's just a simple way that you can help out without actually any money leaving your pocket so yeah you don't even have to give this video a thumbs up you can dislike it if you want you don't have to subscribe you don't have to do anything else just let the ads play you can mute this video and just play it in the background if you want to I really don't care I just want to be able to donate as much money as I possibly can and while I don't have like a huge platform every penny counts I have already donated as much as I possibly can and unfortunately I am not as rich as Bill Gates or Jeff Bezos but that's where you guys come in so let's let's do some good today yeah that could be your good deed of the day just watching through the ads on this video as well as my past oh I want to say like five videos again which is a lot of me I know it's probably too much of me so again just mute the video and let it play through because you don't want to be listening to this voice for five videos straight trust me I wouldn't want to but yeah I just wanted to talk about that really quickly and then we're moving on with this actual video if you end up enjoying this video please make sure to give a thumbs up to let me know but if you absolutely hate it which I will not blame you for you can give a thumbs down because that's okay too and of course subscribe for more content about your certified damsel in distress so let's make some breakfast <laughs> Okay, I've been having the exact same breakfast unless I've been filming a video where I eat something else for breakfast for a hot minute. But yeah, I've just been having this forager. Ooh, oh my God, I almost spilled it everywhere. Cashew milk yogurt, chicken seeds and hemp seeds. Sun Warrior vanilla vegan protein powder. Cinnamon. I should get like a table and chair set so I can eat this outside. Then uh, there's like bugs everywhere, so. I don't know. Then I like to add some frozen blackberries and I have frozen blueberries over there as well. I prefer, like when it comes to blueberries and blackberries, I always prefer it frozen. I don't know why. They just taste better to me. Which granola should Diana use today? I have, I think I'm gonna go with maple almond butter. This granola is from Whole Foods, very tasty. Handful of kumuk puffs. sprinkle of that and then I add cashew milk which I kind of think you need to add because the frozen fruit makes the yogurt kind of this um almost like ice creamy texture which is really good but you want to add a bit of cashew milk so you're able to actually like scoop up the yogurt at least I mean you don't have to that's just what I do now we gotta mix it without having any of the granola spill out can she do it no she can't and voila here she is first meal of the day that looks nasty but it's gonna taste flames absolutely fire there's an apartment complex right uh, across from me and i always get nervous that they can see me and they're judging me and they're like why is that girl filming herself while she eats or sometimes like when i do a dance break and then the camera's just out there like sh now she's filming herself dancing like a lunatic oh this is crazy the fruit thaws just enough 
that you can bite into it. It's so nice and cold and refreshing. Mm, immaculate, exquisite. Five stars. Five star Michelin. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie and today we are back with another Tenzin Massage. Woo! Yeah. I am back. I have returned. I just got finished with some errands and yes, I changed my shirt. This is a 3XL shirt that I got from Walmart and it's the Maruchan <laughs> ramen t-shirt and I feel it's very fitting with my aura, my character. Um, why did I turn on the camera? Oh, I ordered lunch. I ordered some lunch via Uber Eats. I'm having quite of a late-ish lunch. It is apparently going to get here at around 4.15 and at the latest it's going to get here at like 4.30. I tried ordering it at around 3 p.m. and I was driving back, you know, did my errands and I was driving back to my apartment and I was just thinking like, oh, by the time I get back to my apartment, it'll already be at the door. It'll be perfect. And then I parked my car. I looked down at my phone and it was like, order cancels. And I was just sitting here like, well, that's not very nice of you. So we are trying again and I'm ordering from this place called the Bamboozle Cafe and I've ordered from this place a few times. I think I've shown what I get a few times on this channel. I typically get a cafe salad with some lemongrass tofu rolls which are, they are so good. It's such a refreshing meal and that's just what I was craving. So Hopefully it gets here soon. Yeah, hopefully it doesn't randomly get canceled on me again because that would be really heartbreaking because I really don't feel like putting together a little lunch right now, you know? You guys, that came so quickly. I told you guys how it was supposed to come at 4.15. I put my phone down and I'm just, you know, chilling, watching some YouTube videos and stuff. And all of a sudden I look down and it's like, Damien has arrived. And I was like, um, what? And it was 4.02. Jeez, I need a warning. Please. Anyway, I've got my food. I mean, I'm not complaining about how fast it got here. I am impressed. So I've got my giant salad. I love this salad so much. Oh my gosh. The pickled daikon and carrots. So freaking good. I think I got the soy vinaigrette dressing here. Mmm, their tofu is fire. And here are the tofu rolls. Also very, very delicious. Do you ever see that one TikTok where it's like that one girl in school that would bring a salad to lunch and she's like... <laughs> that girl was me. Oh shoot. Let me take a bite of one of these. These are thick. They are thick boys. Would you like a bite? Mm. This is where it's at. Oh. It's so good. It's so good. One. to cooking with Diana, Diana's kitchen. I'm making dinner. For dinner, I'm going to be making some pesto pasta. I'm going to be roasting up some of this asparagus and I'm also, sorry, I shouldn't have thrown you down. Treat your food with love, my friends. I'm also going to be roasting up some of these sweet tomatoes, these little cherry grape tomatoes, mainly because I always let tomatoes go bad and I really don't want these to go bad because it makes me feel awful about myself. My pasta of choice is this rotelle. Am I pronouncing that right? 
probably not. So the pasta I'm using is that rotelle. I'm gonna be adding some of these baby bell mushrooms because I cannot go a day without having mushrooms to be honest. And the meatballs that I'm gonna be using are these plant-based meatballs. I got these from Whole Foods. Did I just say plant-based meatballs? Plant-based meatballs. I feel like I did. Oh my gosh, I can't. I cannot speak English. But yeah, I'm gonna be having some of these. They're a little small. Um, I would like them to be a little bit bigger, but at the end of the day, size does not matter. Taste matters. And then for the pesto, I'm gonna be using this broccoli and kale pesto that I get at Whole Foods. I've had it before and it is very tasty. I would highly recommend. And then I'm going to be adding some dairy-free mozzarella cheese from All Your Heart. So I had K-pop night with my friends last night, which is basically when we all get on a call and we find this like streaming site and you can watch K-pop videos together. And it's, it's just how we bond, you know? Sometimes it's anime night, sometimes it's K-pop night, and last night was K-pop night. And let me tell you, because of last night, I now am a TXT and Red Velvet stan. I was under the impression that TXT were like 16 years old. I thought they were all 15, 16 years old. I don't know why that was just my thought process. But yeah, anyway, TXT, um, I finally gave them a chance mainly because I was forced to. And I am sorry for not giving them a chance earlier on. They are so good. Got me feeling like a psycho, psycho. Yes, Red Velvet, another group that I have decided to stand as well. I never had anything against Red Velvet. I just never listened to them because I clearly have no taste. <laughs> but my friend put on Psycho and I was hooked. So anyway, I've laid everything out. I'm just gonna spray everything with oil again. You can drizzle oil on top. I feel like that's a more fancy, correct way to do it. I just like using spray oil because it gets everything evenly coated. And I don't think there's really much of a difference, you know? I don't know. Seasonings. We've got salt, pepper, garlic powder, and Italian seasoning. I'm gonna pop this in the oven, which is preheated at 420 degrees. It's probably gonna go in here for maybe 20, 25 minutes. So as we're waiting for the butter to boil, I wanted to show you guys these cookies that I found. So they're from this brand, Back to Nature. These aren't the cookies that I'm showing you guys, but it's from the brand Back to Nature, which I think might be completely vegan now. I'm not entirely sure because a little while back, they had these, the chocolate chunk cookies, the chewy version, and they were not vegan. But now, they are. So I don't know if they're all vegan, but every one I've checked has been. And I found these fudge striped cookies. Oh my gosh. And they're like the Keebler ones that I used to get when I was a kid, which I'm pretty sure I haven't had since middle school. Maybe even elementary school, to be honest. So good. Mmm. 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 Mm -mm -mm. I'm also finally continuing to watch Avatar. I stopped watching it for a little bit because I was watching Crash Landing, which by the way, let me just um, quickly talk to y'all about Crash Landing on You, which is a K-drama on Netflix. I have no words. It is such an amazing K-drama. I, I feel overwhelmed just thinking about it. And all I've been doing at night lately is watching bloopers, behind the scenes, and interviews of the two main characters. I just am in love with them. They're so sweet. If you guys haven't watched it yet, as a Korean, <laughs> that means nothing. I would highly suggest that you give it a watch. It is magnificent. I'm really getting into K-dramas more, as well as K-pop and everything. Like, I'm really finally embracing my Koreanness after years of internalized racism. We love that for me. We love the character development, the growth. Yes, sir, or ma'am, or whatever pronouns you prefer. I respect you. Mwah. I drained the pasta, added the mushrooms, I didn't completely turn off the heat on the burner, and then I'm just going to add a nice scoop. And the reason I don't want to turn the heat off is because I'm also now going to be adding the cheese, meatballs. The vegetables inside this oven should be just about done. I'm going to add these tomatoes into here. For the asparagus, I also want to drizzle a little bit of this balsamic glaze because this stuff on roasted vegetables, oh my goodness. Balsamic glaze on your roasted vegetables is life changing, my friends. Life changing. Ta-da! Oh my god, that looks so good. <laughs> it smells freaking amazing in here. My dinner is finished and she is looking divine. She is looking lovely. Mmm, mm, perfect. 
Mm -hmm. Oh man, I haven't had pesto in so long. And I don't know why. I always forget like how much I love pesto. Mm. God, I'm good. I am so, so good. You know, if you can look past all the awful qualities I have, and there are a lot, I think we could have something special. Mm. Guys, wait. This was in my dream. We shouldn't go to the market. What happened in your dream? Food eats people. Uncle Iroh is the best. Mm, he's not bald. Oh my god, baby Zuko. I want to go into the war chamber, but the guard won't let me pass. <laughs> You're not missing anything. Trust me. Oh my god, Zuko. He's so cute. finished my dessert and I'm probably just going to spend the rest of my night watching Avatar which is very exciting I know which also means that that is going to conclude this video I really hope you guys enjoyed it please make sure to give it a thumbs up to let me know but if you absolutely hated it then of course you can give it a thumbs down that is okay too comment anything else you would like to see on my channel and subscribe for more content by yours truly and before you go if you haven't already heard it today you are amazing you're beautiful you are wonderful, you are so valid, and I am so happy that you are alive. I love you so, so much, and I hope I see you in the next video. Bye.